So here's the go. Free houses in Japan. Abandoned houses. Akia. Murio no Akia. 13.5% of houses in Japan are abandoned. What the? Well, that's been banded about for a few years now. Well, most of it's straight up. But it's also a bit more complex than that. So one of my sons and I finally found this place. It wasn't really in the middle of nowhere or anything. It's just like the Google Maps car couldn't be bothered going up that far. Looked down the drive and it was like, it's a jungle. Heck. Anyway, so we, you know, found this stick and a ski pole and then started poking around and having a wee look. It was a bit uncomfortable. I was actually a little bit shaky on it. And I was just sort of in the middle of saying, these guys must have been some serious hoarders when I looked up and there was this massive spider. So we're just like, let's get out of here. We jumped back on the bikes. To go to the convenience store to get some lunch before we went back to start exploring the place. So while we go hurtling down this road, let me explain a little bit of the background how I ended up at that property. I hadn't actually intended to go to that property, let alone buy that property at all. In fact, I've been following several websites that have abandoned houses and relatively cheap properties. They're not all abandoned. In particular, a bankruptcy website. A few properties came up at the same time that I wanted to check out. This one just happened to be in an area that doesn't have a lot of properties coming up. I just basically went for a bit of a nosy, really. I wasn't super keen on that area. In fact, I was actually hoping to find a place over near Amano Hashidate, which is over in Kyoto Prefecture. I was sort of kind of hoping to get a little place that I could use for a holiday home with enough land to do some farming. It may also give me more options in the future. In the videos that follow up after this intro video, I'm going to be going over more details on buying an Akia, some of the risks involved, going through the renovation process. In fact, that's going to take some time, so I'll be putting out videos as I go. It may be an idea to subscribe so you can catch the videos as they're released. I could watch Amano Hashidate all day, but I suppose I should get back to that jungle. Oh, and I also want to show you the main reason that I wanted to try and buy that place. I wouldn't say the main reason, but it's definitely one of the main reasons. So after lunch, we armed ourselves with some Gunte gloves and decided to man up and go and face that jungle. At least we should have a sneaky peek because we went all the way out there anyway. So we went back there, started edging our way along and went over to the door of the main house. And guess what? You wouldn't believe it. The door was locked. What do you mean? I had to find another way in. So I headed back out the same way I came. Then found a little path down the side of the property, which is in between the agricultural land and the residential land. That's right, you heard it. It also has agricultural land, which everybody says, don't touch that. Well, anyway, I did. In fact, two of the seven titles were agricultural land. Just went along the side of the small house and there was some steps going up between the two houses sort of thing and it was just like a jungle obviously between them. So I just went up the steps and then found that the door had been broken. So it's like okay this is cool at least I can get in. So carefully stepped in there. As I used to be a builder cabinet maker in a past life, I just kind of started poking around at the framing just to sort of see, you know, if it's got a terrible problem with termites and rot and whatnot. Just sort of checking out the main framing because I can see the rest of it's pretty much shagged. And then what do you know it? I got attacked by a giant Asian Hornet, Suzume Bachi, which is not the reason I decided to buy the property, by the way. Straight onto my shirt, and I ran around the house to the main door. I mean, it got me there really fast, so that was quite good in a way. It actually took quite a bit to open that door because it kind of seized up. So I looked outside, and I couldn't find my son. So I thought, ah, oh, what the hell, I'll just go and have a look upstairs. I might as well have a look. Edged my way along, and then I found out, oh, heck, the floor's kind of going, like dying. Oh, no, termites. But anyway, I'll have a look upstairs stairs and I carefully went up the stairs and that's when I saw the ceiling. Just amazing. I thought man I'm not gonna let anybody rip this house down and this get destroyed by demolition. I'm gonna save this place. So that's one of the main reasons. I decided. If you are interested in seeing the process I went through to buy this Akia and some of the challenges I faced along the way, don't forget to subscribe and look out for the videos.
Catch you in the next one. Chill the beans.